Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hey, What's Next? Over the last year, I've struggled with recreating good sound with my computer speakers. After my main set of speakers cracked out, I switched to a portable speaker from Bose, and while it sounded good, it just didn't fit well with my desk setup. Luckily, during Amazon's Prime Deals event, I purchased this set of speakers, and as it states on the box, they're monitor speakers, huh? Well, are these any good? And is this something that you might be interested in? Well, let's find out together. The Ortizon Monitor Speakers, model number C7. This is what's next. Well, I hope today we have a little bit of fun. And with all the videos that I've been doing for this channel, one of the things that I've struggled with is actually creating good sound while doing the editing, right? I wanna to listen to what it's gonna possibly sound like on your television or in your headphones and, well, anyways. So prior to a purchase that I recently made for this channel for my use is the use of speakers. Now, obviously with something like a Mac Pro, you got a built-in speaker, it isn't that good. Then my son's old Logitech speaker set um, did okay for me for a while, but you know, it started crapping out on the right channel. I tried several things. Uh, I believe it's a loose wire, but you know, again, having the woofer separate from the speakers, it's, it was okay, not great. So I took that apart and I've been using this for a while, a tiny bow speaker, uh, which is perfect. It's got, you know, dual channel in here. So it is stereo, but again, it's setting it in front of the monitor and for work full time. And it's been okay, but not what I want to do for this channel. So if I move this out of the way, I finally got some studio monitors on prime day and not anything super expensive because let's just face it i'm cheap so i wanted to give you guys the option to listen to these speakers see what's in the box see what it comes with and is this something that maybe you might be interested in in your computer setup this is a mess right now so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean this up right now and there we go. Not in our normal camera position because this box is quite large. And let's go ahead and get this unboxed. There it is. Ah, uh, looks like we have some damage here on the side. So hopefully that's not going to impact the quality of these things. This was definitely heavier than I was expecting. Generally inexpensive speakers or they don't have large enough magnets or construction of the speakers themselves aren't as good. Let's first take a look at the packaging. Uh, we say multimedia active speakers here from Ortizon. We have black, or if we flip it over to the other side, there is a white version, uh, but the white was more expensive. So I went black. Auxiliary playback, hi-fi sound quality, wireless connection, model number C7 monitor speakers or studio monitor speakers, dual speaker, rotary volume adjustment. That was one thing that I wanted a physical knob uh, on here as opposed to what I was getting both on the Bose and the Logitech. Uh, we have Bluetooth 5.3, which I didn't think this actually had Bluetooth. So I'm gonna question that. Four unit vocalization, have no clue about that. PC connection playback, that's a given made in China. Other side of the box, we have some specs. We have, again, it says Bluetooth, so we're gonna assume it has that. Woofer, 30 watt, four ohm, three and a half inch. We have medium to high audio speakers, 10 watt, six ohm, one inch. That would be your tweeters. There's your audio input information. Uh, and then there's some dimensions and weight. I saved you the time. I already took off the plastic wrap. We have foam padding. 
Again, let's hope that that didn't damage the speakers with the way this box is looking. It would be both sides. I'm going to assume that we're okay. We have that. <laughs> that box is smashed. Nothing else in the box. Okay, there's speaker one. Looking good. I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. Again, it's got some significant weight. We'll look at the features again. The speaker has an RCA connection right here to plug into our powered speakers. Again, I'm not seeing any damage, so bonus. Let's look at our powered speaker. So there's our tweeter, there's our woofer, there's our monitor and auxiliary. Again, what I was looking for was a knob. It has some clicking to it, so obviously it's digital, but that's gonna give me a better idea of the volume that I'm creating with my videos. Good, uh, probably a port here, I'm gonna guess. Flipping it on the back. Okay, so if we did connect it up through the PC, it is a type C connection. We have bass adjustment, treble adjustment. There's our balanced input. There's our unbalanced input, our AC and our power switch. Again, MDF, it looks like some sort of wood. We could get in the inside. We just have some screws here. And overall, pretty decent construction, not bad. There's our speaker set right there. We have our AC connection. So there's our wall plug and then the plug for the back of the speakers. All right, let's see what's in the box. Gold plated maybe? Looks like a 3.5 millimeter jack, two, two RCAs. Uh, looks like there's our auxiliary. That would be for the front. And our USB-A to USB-C. And I didn't even see an owner's manual or a manual. Oh, there it is. Let's, uh, let's set aside this stuff. We're gonna take a look at this monitor speakers user manual real quick. Some channels throw their user manuals away. I do not, because I'm a writer by trade, technical writer. So let's see here, what do we got? We have more of the uh, specifications. There's our peak power, looks like 40 watt by 40 watts, 60 hertz by 20,000 hertz, Bluetooth range 15 meters. Gives us some information on the back, which we've already looked at that. Here's our warranty information, but it's not really showing us anything with that USB-C. So I'm not, I'm perplexed, unless it's one of those things where Maybe you have a USB-C device, so it could be USB-C to USB-C. I'm gonna guess that's what that means. Uh, or you can go from A to C. And then there's just some other information here, wired connections, wireless connections. It says switch to Bluetooth mode, which again, I did not see Bluetooth on here at all. All right, well, hey, that's great. We've looked at our cabling, we've looked at our speakers, what does it sound like? So let's get this thing hooked up and find out. All right, I transferred some YouTube library music using this 256 megabyte drive to my old and original iBook G3. Um, I love pulling out all my old stuff. Anyways, you can see we have their speakers plugged in. Well, no, we actually don't have plugged in. We have power plugged in. But one of the things that I wanted to mention real quick is this does have Bluetooth. So if I power this up. Power on Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is enabled when nothing else is plugged into it. There's not a button per se, only when you turn the power on and nothing's plugged in. So let's plug something in. We're going to turn that off. And that funky looking USB-A with the C connector on this end. And because we're using an older iBook, and hopefully this works, because I haven't even tested it out yet. Uh, we're gonna go to the back of this speaker and we're going to plug it into the USB connection right here. Okay. Pardon the mess here on all the cabling, but it is what it is. And we're going to turn it back on again. PC mode. So we have PC. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a couple YouTube selections off of the original iBook G3 and see what it sounds like. I'm going to record the audio from the Task Cam. It's situated, as you can see, right here in the middle. 
Uh, so we should be able to get a good stereo separation and then we'll just play a couple clips. And then let me know in the comments what you think of the Ortizon studio speakers. Okay, I think I'm set. Uh, to me, these speakers sound really good and they get loud. Since recording the unboxing and testing segments, I've edited several episodes and the audio is way better than the other solutions I've tried. I love the fact that this speaker setup includes the USB connection, which works great with my KVM switch. Now, all my computers connect with ease when I make the switch to the connections of each PC. Overall, the build quality and construction are solid. Uh, my only suggestion or criticism is the volume knob. I wish it had that smooth rotation like analog knobs instead of the digital clicks, you know, click, click, click. I sometimes have issues dialing it to the right volume that works best with my setup. But you know what, all in all, that's minor compared to the sound quality, which is the main reason I picked these up. I definitely like this set of speakers. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you found this topic helpful and informative. And if you liked what you saw, take a moment and give me a thumbs up. Uh, to have my channel appear in your feed, please click the subscribe button and bell notification icon. As always, thank you for watching. In the meantime, feel free to watch one of my other episodes here or here. And until next time, I'll see you again for another episode of Hey, What's Next?